Hey everyone, my name's Silver. Welcome back to my channel, and if you couldn't tell by this, I'm doing the cards that were revealed for Neo Nectar. So guys, me and my buddy Black Moon Dragon have been hyping up the new Asha unit, and its skill was revealed earlier today, and I meant to get to it, but I had some other things I wanted to do, and I just sort of wanted to laze around being today was my day off. So, I was unable to get to this any earlier, but it's going up now, and soon I will be reading Black Moon Dragon's fanfic, so can't wait for you to see that. So, moving on to the topic at hand, um, we are going to start off with the grade zero that was revealed recently, and it... I like its skill overall. I don't think it's a bad unit, but I don't think it's better than some of the other units that are out there. And so that's why it's starting off the list tonight. And so yeah, let's move on. So the art overall is pretty nice. It's coming in the set. It has the Forerunner ability with Bloom. When one of your other units with the same name as this card is placed on a rearguard, this unit gets plus 2k power until end of turn. Okay, skill. It's the typical Bloom skill. Makes it easy for searching when you're running your other three copies in the deck. It's rearguard auto skill, which isn't GB restricted. Counter blast 1, soul blast 1. Put this unit to soul. When your grade 1 or greater unit with Bloom ability is placed on rearguard, you may pay the cost if you do draw a card. So this is your soul charger, and I like this because this is going to give you your early game draws, so when you... So if you don't get a grade 3 in your opening hand, <coughs> you can rush your opponent with it, making it really good. And overall, just a nice card. Um, I'd probably only run 2 at max in the deck, and I still think some of the other starters that you run in New Nectar are better than this. So I personally probably will not be running it. I might run 1 or 2 copies in the deck for the Asha on Stride skill, which we'll be going over very soon. But yeah, that's Planting Maiden Uzu. So we're going to move on to the, by far, one of my favorite strides that are coming out. And I really wish it was a lower rarity, but it's not. So we got Flower Princess of the Four Seasons, Valheim. So it's a G-Rare. Overall, I really do like the art. It was the thumbnail of, a, of my previous live stream. And I did go over it in the episode review. Which, guys, by the way, my episode review is blowing up. It is my most viewed video on the channel, which isn't saying a lot, being it's only at 358 right now. But that means a lot to me. You guys may or may not understand that, but to me, that's a significant jump in views, and that's a significant, and we've had a significant increase in subscribers over five in the past three days. So, guys, please. Hit this like button. Go watch that video if you haven't yet. But if you have, please share it with your friends and family that actually like Vanguard or might want to get into it. And yeah, overall, enough plugging myself. We're moving on to this unit skill. So it's your typical stride. Nothing unique about it in the stride in the stride description. Stride, stride description. Just try saying that five times fast. That's hard. All right, moving on. Auto Vanguard Counter Blast One. Choose a card face down from your G zone. Turn it face up. When this unit attacks, you may pay the cost. If you do, search your deck for up to two grade two or less normal units with the Bloom ability of the same name and call them to regard in different rows. Shuffle your deck and it has a continuous GBO for all of your regards in your front row get plus 5k. So when it says row, I believe it means across because that's row one and row two. Whereas you have three columns. I'm not entirely sure of that. So we're going to come here, open up the card fight wiki, and we're going to look for rows and see what that brings up. Um, rows ruling. So I want to be sure I'm getting that right if I don't. Standard fight rules. Let's see. Um, G deck reading layout zone of game. So the G zone hand drops on field. So when your units are placed face up on a circle, regarding it being the field is a public zone, and both players may see the information on the cards. The order of the cards cannot be changed for no reason except moving them. Manually between the front and back rows. Okay, so it is rows. 
so the top row where your vanguard and your front two rear guards rest is the first row. So you can call units right behind each other, but you cannot call them in the, uh, so you can't call one in the front on both sides. It ha one has to be in the back, one has to be in the front. That's what I wanted to get to. But overall, like the skill, it's a good card. I really love the art. I'm really hoping to pull an SP pack of this when it comes out, if this has an SP pack. But we're moving on to the card that I overhyped, and honestly, I'm sorry I overhyped it. I thought it was going to be a little bit better. But the card isn't bad, and it is going to probably replace standard Asha, so it's going to probably become running this in blue Asha, or uh, Searing Heart. Wow. Searing Heart in blue Asha, or it's going to be regular old Ren Renunculus Maiden Asha in blue blue asha so we have recluse of phantasmic blue asha so as i've stated in the past i really love this card art it trades out her red scheme her red and like greenish white scheme for a blue and white scheme really making her stand out and pop it gives her that you know traveled feeling i like it overall blue rose for the win i love its flavor text what i received from you the power to go beyond dreams that is the best flavor text i've seen on a card so the skill we didn't know about up until today was at the beginning of your ride phase, choose one card from your drop zone and a circle other than your vanguard, put them to the bottom of your deck in any order. If two cards were put to the, if two cards were put, draw a card, choose one card from your hand, call it to rear guard. So this is at the beginning of your ride phase. So this acts like, um, what's it called? Uh, drag stride or I'm not drag. This acts like. Luard and other units that have it at the beginning of ride phase skill you can activate this before you stride which gives you which leads into the next skill counter blast one when your G unit strides you may pay the cost if you do search your deck for up to one normal unit with a bloom ability call it to rear shuffle deck and the number of your units with the same name as that card is two or more counter charge one soul charge one so what's this mean is your field doesn't have to be full to get anything off because you're calling units with the bloom ability which most of your units in the deck already run but if you do have a copy of it out already you are going to activate this skill which gives you counter blast and a counter charge which basically makes this entire skill a plus because you only have to pay a counter blast which if you have a unit out that you call you're going to recover that counter blast so it's free and then you're gaining one off the soul charge Overall, a great card, and it's even better followed up by this effect that you can call a unit. So, literally, you just choose a unit on rear guard. So, say you have four of the same units on rear. You retire two for guarding. You still have two on rear. So, you choose one from drop zone. You choose one on rear. You send them both to the bottom of the deck. Then you get to draw a card. Now, there are shenanigans where you can get all these units back into your deck, but you draw a card, call a card. Now, you have two targets to that potentially have bloom that you can call from deck and get more shenanigan skills off and with the multiplication effect of this deck you're going to be calling lots of units with the same name so i hopefully this card will have a lot more in print than searing heart did because i have one searing heart and i am not letting it go at all so i really hope that we can get a hand a whole play set of these ashas it would be really awesome too but overall, I think this is a great start to something, to a wonderful deck. But yeah, guys, um, I think I'm going to end it there. I wanted to keep this nice and short. So, uh, wasn't as powerful as we thought, but I still think it's going to be a good card. And watch out for the price market. Until next time, guys, I've been the Silver Wolf. I'll see you all later. Peace.